In this video, we're going to explore three retopology tools that are similar in function, but quite unique in their application and different in the way they operate. And that is the transform tool, the extrude tool, and the bevel tool. The bevel and extrude will not be visible if you are not in edge selection mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at the extrude tool. First, I need to select an edge or a row of edges. Okay, now when I click the extrude tool, I'll see a preview. Now this is very similar to strip modeling that you may be used to seeing in a standard 3D application. The only problem is, is that to change direction, okay, I can't quite do that all that easily. I have to drop the tool, reselect something else then select the tool again okay and that's a bit slow now an alternative to this is actually the quads tool direct or even parallel so what you can do is hover over and click an edge and you see the same type of preview so you click and now if you want to change direction quickly just hover over the edge that you want to utilize as a starting point very very handy so it's there escape now let's uh, point out a limitation of the extrude tool another limitation I should say because we just pointed out one so uh, I'm going to go back to selection mode and faces just kind of paint select hold the shift key an area I'm going to delete these polygons now choose edges again I'm going to hold the shift key while making multiple edge selections here okay so with that done if I click extrude you can see it gets confused here it's really not going to do it in a planar fashion it wants to do it in 3d space escape so let me go back and hit the E key to choose freeform lasso select And delete those. Okay. E key for just a regular pin. You can also assign hotkeys to these different pins to make it faster for you. So one edge, two edges. Okay, and I can select edge, edge loop. So let's go to transform. And now you see this gizmo that I have. I can move it in screen space if I want by just grabbing anywhere inside that circle. I can drop it by hitting the escape key. I have a hot key assigned to it so I can quickly access it. And uh, move only gizmo if I want to kind of manually set the location. You can also to local space. Now click move only gizmo. And so one of the really handy features is the ability to quickly even out geometry by scaling a selection along a single axis. Okay, this is very, very handy. And now I can even reorient the rotation. Okay and hit the escape key and now let's go back to the extrude tool and you can see how it's it's not a bad option to choose sometimes I hit the escape key and now the good thing about this is when you hit the escape key you still have the selection so you can always quickly turn to your transform tool to reorient this on the fly hit escape spacebar to go back to extrude or if you have a hotkey for extrude you can quickly access it so this is very good for knuckles to quickly align them if you need let's go ahead now and turn to the bevel tool. If you're used to using the extrude tool in Maya, 
or the inset tool in 3D Studio Max, the bevel tool operates in a similar fashion. As I make a selection here, when you click bevel, it will now create that new geometry. Again, it won't do it in a selection of an open hole like this, so that's one of the limitations. It also won't bevel in, in 3D space, but it will create this inner row of geometry. It's very good for joints such as the knee, the elbows, you know, even knuckles like you have here. Okay, so that should conclude this demonstration of the three read topology tools, the transform, the extrude, and the bevel tool in the read topology room of 3D Kit World.